Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Challenge Accepted. And as you know, this month uh, on Challenge Accepted, we are traveling along with the um, Around the World in 30 Days Hop. So it's a group of um, scrappers who are sharing uh, vacation, staycation, um, trip, travel, um, or backyard photos with you. And it's a, an amazing hop. There's some amazing inspiration out there uh, already, and we're not even um, halfway through the month. So for this one, I'm actually going to do a companion page to the one that went live today, which is Wednesday, and you'll be seeing this one on Thursday. And I had some of the same supplies. I'm using my Mind the Scrap June kit, which I picked up in Bristol. And I'm doing, I did a, a page uh, this morning with a single photo of myself with Emma's dog, Harry. And I've turned, I used this sketch this way. So I'm going to turn it around so that the strips are up at the top and the bottom. Uh, I'm, instead of uh, mixed media, I'm going to use washi tape off to the sides, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, I'm using a very gorgeous, amazing piece of paper from the kit, and that's from Vicki Booten's Sweet Rush. And I'm just going to go ahead. You've seen this page, I'm sure, and, and it's... I've, I've seen it cut up and, and done all kinds of amazing things with it. And, and Lord knows nobody is better at um, and more fearless at cutting into uh, beautiful papers like this than Vicki herself. And, but I, I think it's, um, just amazing to use just as it is, as it comes. So that's how I'm going to use it. And I've got a, um, a banner shape here that I'm going to use for my title. And it says, Just Chillin'. And I like it because it has all the colors. And... That's kind of me. I'm using some Spectrum Sherbet out of the kit. And I'm, I'm actually pulling in this little piece of wood because it's on my desk. And it is, um, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this flat, but I'm going to curl it up and kind of fold that and kind of do, do it that way. And then I'll put the adhesive kind of right down the center and I'm going to go sort of here with it. Um, let's see, I did that one kind of that way. So I'll do this one this way and I'll kind of put it where, well, I don't want it even with that. So I'll do that and I'll kind of curl this up. I've already distressed all the edges on this. And this is um, this word, this word strip, the scripty words strip, hard for me to say, um, is the branding strip on this piece of paper. So here is the um, Spectrum Sherbet, and I'm, I'm using some of the same materials, but uh, hopefully in a different way um, for this page, but the pages will go side by side in my album, not as a double page spread, because we all know that I don't do double page spreads, but it's what I call companion pages. There are enough um, similar elements and the color scheme's the same, and the photos are related, so that that 
that to me constitutes a um, a companion page. So I'm gonna really, this is this um, 49 and market paper is really, really thick. And I'm gonna, I'm kinda messing with it before I have it glued down because I really don't, and I'm gonna curl it so that the, the ends kinda show there. And I'm gonna put it on some foam, like so, so that I can curl it more if I need to. And then I'm gonna do it maybe fairly close to centering it. Like there, I don't wanna to get too precious about it, but, and then I want this to go a little bit cattywampus, um, maybe like that, or, or at least hanging over the edge on one side or the other. Let's see. If I did it on this side, then I could have my camera here, but I don't want to give up these curls. So let it works better over here. So let's do it this way. And again, I'm going to add some foam. And kind of prop it up. And before I do any embellishing around it, I will add the, um, and I'll curl this. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Let me, well, I'll do it. I'll do it on there and it'll look really kind of casual. I'm going to draw sprocket holes right here. I left it white and then I did that with a black pen. But now I'm going to go on the black with a white pen and my white pen is, is almost out of ink. So it's gonna be really messy and maybe not, it's gonna look like it's scratched on, which is kind of okay. It kind of goes with the vintagey vibe there. And I'm drawing them long so that I can get a good long stroke on the uh, pen because it more ink tends to come out that way. Um, and it's very, uh, there's no particular uh, point for this. It's, we don't have doodling in the rules like we did last week in the summer challenge. But I kind of want it to look like a film strip uh, because it's a series of photos all kind of taken uh, at the same time, very seconds apart. So it's kind of like a, a video film strip might be. And this is in Emma's backyard. And the players here are Harry, of course, who is the star. I'm holding him. And this is Claire Thomas, Claire Rachel Thomas, who is on the Mind the Scrap design team. And she, you see her beautiful work on, uh, on the Mind the Scrap page and also on Instagram. And that's Emma herself, Emma M. And it was amazing. I have been a fan of hers for a long time, a subscriber for a long time, and I just cannot believe that I actually met her. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled. So I'm gonna kind of stick the camera here because it fits there and I did not curl these edges. And I have this little piece of wood. Let's, let me do 
the strips down here. Um, this one is gonna go flat. Oh, you know what I said before embellishing, I was gonna do the, um, let me see. That looks like it's centered. And because these things are gonna be wonky, I don't, um, it's not gonna bother me to, if they're not centered, it'll kind of look like it was intentional. And I'm gonna fight with my glue again. I expect um, it's getting to the point of beyond aggravation and I am about ready to switch. I can't switch glues because I have too much of it to waste, but I may switch techniques. <laughs> I am not happy with the uh, applicator. And, and yeah, I, I get suggestions all the time to turn it upside down and that just causes a, uh, it to gather in that area and then dry up and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put that right there. It kind of looks like bunting almost. I think this is gonna get me the bunting point in the um, challenge, but we'll see. Okay, now washi tape. I'm gonna do this kind of right under here. Let me tear it a little bit more. And I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take a combination of these. I'm gonna do this one like that. And I've got a little strip. These are, are um, strips I tore this morning. I'm gonna do this one. like that and then I have this piece right here which I'll bet would work just perfect right under here and then I'll put some other embellishment there at the bridge so it it gives that kind of torn raggedy look to the uh, edges there, which is kind of what I was going for. Okay, so we've got the camera here and it's not standing up as much as I would like for it to. So I'm gonna put some more foam under it and kind of keep it curled. I'm gonna fold the foam so it really props it up and keeps it up like that. Okay, now I've got this floral cluster, which I thought about using here, but then I kind of cover that up. So I might look for something a little bit smaller right there. And maybe I could come up with a yellow butterfly. Yes, 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 yes. There is one. right here that can kind of exist in that tiny little space and it kind of adds to the color profile there. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna look for something 
there is a, um, I saw in this stuff, ooh, would, would a cloud look good? Kind of right there. I like these clouds a lot, and why not? Let's kind of make that part of a little cluster, maybe. Um, okay, there's this which says today. I'm, I'm not, I'm, what I'm looking for is a, a fairly small bit here. I can go with a label from here. And I'm gonna go with the pink because I'm really, whereas on the other layout, I was emphasizing the yellow. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the pink here. And I don't think those are perforated, so I'll have to be careful when I cut that. I know that my trimmer trims to the left of the little line. So if I leave a little bit there, it, it comes out perfect. Let's see. It's hard to do when it's that thin because I can't get hold of anything over here. It's a little too much, a little too much. Oh, the, the lengths we go to to humor our trimmers. And, oops, I've lost my sketch. It's gone down behind the table. I'm gonna put it here, and that leaves me room to write a date, which was June 16th. And I'm gonna kinda of put it right here and it kind of gives me a layer and I want some something circular there. So I'm gonna go to the sticker book, uh, the Sweet Rush sticker book that came in the July kit. And I kind of like this one says free to roam and it's an, a reference to the fact that in the photo Harry is not free to roam <laughs> he's being he's being contained okay we'll go there and then I have this little green thing that says go and I'm going to put that in the middle of the camera lens. And then I've got a little green thing that says, so fun. And I'm gonna put that kinda right there or here. I'll do it here. I think it's crooked and not ironically crooked, but actually she doesn't know what she's doing kind of crooked. And what else do I have? Um, Let me look at, here's a, a little perforated sentiment that says, you can't stop awesome. And I may actually use that 
instead of the date on top of that And you can't necessarily read the, the little uh, camera kind of covers that up, but I want it spaced that way. Well, do I want it spaced that way or would I be able to live with it if it was further down like this? And maybe at a real intentional angle. Okay. I love this. Yay, and these tickets. Um, I really like that there, don't you? Um, I may cut the end of this off so that I can use this piece someplace else, maybe on this layout, maybe not, but I can do this right here, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the dark pink part. Am I? Am I really? Do I think I'm really going to do that? Um, I'll touch it there. This is ridiculous. Um, and I'll kind of rub it out because this is vellum. I don't want it to show, so I'm kind of rubbing out the making it just barely tacky. Kind of put it here and line up. Oops, I got some glue on it. And then this, where could I put that? I could put that Maybe right up behind, so fun. Kind of like that. And then I did this, I'll do the so fun like this. There we go. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Not that way, I'm not. I'll put some, it's not really gonna show, so, and I've got glue on my fingers, not, not getting any out of the, um, out of the bottle there. Okay. I have to turn this around so the so fun is straight. Okay, there. I think I'm going to call that done other than my sequins and my flare. And I'm going to pull, since I'm trying to do all things pink here. I like that. That's that combination of pink and orange. And I could actually put that one right there. Uh, maybe I'll do something up here too with, do I want pink up there? Or do I want yellow maybe? How about this yellow? Kind of works right there. Okay. I'm happy with that. And then I am going to go with pink sequins. I'm, I've got the strawberry field set out. I've used that on several layouts lately. This is kind of a, um, a yellow. You can't really tell from there, I'm sure. It's sort of a yellow... Um, oh camouflage 
it's very cool. <laughs> okay, there. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna do a bumblebee. down here. I'm going to curl the wings back. I think I have a tiny piece. I don't, but I'll cut one. And it's a completely different look using the exact same sketch. And Lisa's sketches are that famous for that. I'm talking about Lisa Sikorsky of Sikorsky Scraps. And this sketch is from her Scrap a Sketch group on Facebook. And how I first met Lisa was in the um, Mind the Scrap community. And what I'm doing right now is I'm reaching back behind a million things. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. I'll have to, um, you'll have to take my word that it somewhat resembles the sketch. Um, the, and I will do the sequins off camera after I've kind of disciplined my glue. So I, w I won't make you uh, see that. Anyway, I will, um, you saw the sketch at the beginning. You'll have to take my word that this somewhat resembles it. And that it, uh, it was inspired by it. And I thank Lisa again for the versatility of her sketches. And I thank Emma for having me at her home and inviting me into her backyard and Claire for stopping by. This was absolutely an unforgettably wonderful day. And I will be scrapping more of it now that I have the kit that I wanted to use to scrap it. So, um, you'll see, you'll see lots of these. I've just printed two eight and a half by 11 sheets of, uh, photos with no idea of the designs. And I have to go hunt down sketches to go with the sizes I printed the photos. I usually do things in the other way around, but, um, I I'm just really excited about this. So thank you for watching. Bye.